Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So we're going to talk about the benefits of zucchini. I know I think it's so fabulous. Um, it's kind of an underrated one I think when it comes to fruit and vegetables and of course we consider it a vegetable but it is absolutely a fruit. Why? Yes because it has seeds. Uh, but I absolutely love it and for different reasons like when I first was introduced to it, I would only consider eating it fried, in breaded, and dipped in ranch dressing. Like, that's all I knew about zucchini. And just the idea of just eating it raw freaked me out. Now, it would freak me out to think of frying that, and certainly dipping it in ranch dressing would freak me out. <laughs> so it's interesting how times change, right? But anyway, one thing I really like about it is that I use it as a thickener for things. So today I made a really fantastic dressing for my salad and I used a yellow zucchini in the dressing and I had thick, rich, lovely dressing. And then I also, when I make my banana and ice cream, which of course is like ice cream, but just frozen banana, I put in zucchini because it gives me more and it gets a vegetable in there, if you will, even though it's a fruit. I bet it hides what we consider a vegetable in there. And it's just delicious. So I like the benefits of it that way as well. But let's find out from Healthline.com, one of my favorites because of the summary and the bottom line, the 12 health and nutrition benefits of zucchini. My time is limited right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reverse it. I always read all of the content and encourage you to go back and just read the summaries. This time, I'm going to just read the summaries and encourage you to get those details in the content if indeed you're interested in learning more about zucchini because it's fabulous. It's just I don't have the 15 minutes to do it. So let me go with the introduction, the bottom line, and all the summaries. So 12 health and nutrition benefits of zucchini. Zucchini, also known as courgette, is the summer squash in the Kirkibutacea or plant family. I slaughtered that. Alongside melons, spaghetti squash, and cucumbers. It can grow to be more than 3.2 feet, a whole meter in length, but it's usually harvested when still immature, typically measuring about 8 inches. Although zucchini is often considered a vegetable, it is botanically classified as a fruit. It occurs in several varieties which range in color from deep yellow to dark green. I don't notice the difference. Um, you like in the flavor, uh, certainly I recognize the shape, but I don't see a difference in flavor for those. While squash is originated in the Americas, this particular variety was first developed in the early 1800s in Italy. Ah, prego. Zucchini has been used in folk medicine to treat colds, aches, and various health conditions. However, not all of its uses are backed by science, and that's okay. Folk medicine, we can't afford to have scientists back us, but people who live it know that it works. So these are 12 evidence-based benefits of zucchini. Oh my gosh, I am such a diehard teacher that I just can't even... I, I just can't even imagine only telling the summary. Like there's so much good information here that I am going to rearrange my schedule and just do it. So again, go back and just read the summaries if that's you, but I have to share the whole thing. Bear with me, people. It's a good one. It's rich in many nutrients. Zucchini is rich in several vitamins, minerals, and other beneficial plant compounds. One cup of cooked zucchini, and again, I prefer it raw, um, but it's an interesting trade out here. So one cup has 17 calories, that's all. One gram of protein, less than a gram of fat, three grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, one gram of fiber, which is fabulous. And then vitamin A, 40% of the recommended daily. Manganese, 16, vitamin C, 14, potassium, 13, manganese, I mean, forgive me, magnesium, 10, vitamin K, 9, folate, 8, copper, 8, phosphorus, 7, vitamin B6, 7, thiamine, 5. Hello, do you see that list? My gosh, seriously, <laughs> what is that list? Let me see. It is astounding how many benefits. God, like 15. It also contains small amounts of iron, calcium, zinc, and several other B vitamins. 
is another miracle food sponsored by God. In particular, its ample vitamin A content may support your vision. I love that. And immune system. COVID, anyone? <laughs> Raw zucchini offers a similar nutritional profile as cooked zucchini. And this is the interesting part. But with less vitamin A and more vitamin C, a nutrient which tends to be reduced when cooking. It's high in antioxidants. Zucchini is also rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants, a hyperlink, are beneficial plant compounds. Plant compounds that help protect your body from damage by free radicals. Carotenoids such as lutein and zeaxanthin and beta carotene are particularly plentiful in zucchini. These may benefit your eyes, yay, skin, and heart, as well as offer some protection against certain types of cancers such as prostate cancer. Research indicates that the skin of the plant harbors the highest levels of antioxidants. Yellow zucchinis may contain slightly higher levels than light green ones. I love that. Um, I enjoy them both equally. But what I will absolutely say right here is that you really need to make sure that if you're going to use the skin, that it's organic. Because, of course, the pesticides and stuff will be harbored in the skin. Otherwise, if you're not doing organic, removing the skin will give you a much better chance of getting the healthy vegetable without all the pesticides. All right. Contributes to healthy digestion. God, I had no idea that people struggled so much with their microbiome and their gut health. And, and it's such a major deal. So if it helps with healthy digestion, I'm sure people welcome that. Zucchini may promote healthy digestion in several ways. For starters, it's rich in water, which can soften stools. This makes them easier to pass and reduces your chances of constipation, which is great. Zucchini also contains both soluble and insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber adds bulk to stools and helps food move through your gut more easily, further reducing constipation risks. This benefit is compounded if you have enough fluids in your diet. Meanwhile, soluble fiber feeds the beneficial bacteria living in your gut. In turn, these friendly bacteria produce short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs, that nourish your gut cells. What's more, SCFAs may help reduce inflammation and symptoms of certain gut disorders, such as irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. So important. Number four, it may reduce blood sugar levels. Again, crazy important in today's society. Zucchini may help lower blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. At 3 grams of carbs per cooked cup, zucchini provides a great low-carb alternative to pasta for those looking to reduce carb intake. It can be spiralized or sliced to replace spaghetti, linguine, and lasagna noodles in dishes. And of course, that's true for raw as well. I spiralize zucchini noodles and I eat them with salsa or a tomato sauce and they're crazy delicious. Um, also, I do make them in lasagna noodle form raw, and it's okay. Low-carb diets can significantly lower blood sugar and insulin levels, both of which may keep blood sugar levels stable and reduce the need for medication in people with type 2 diabetes. What's more, zucchini fiber helps stabilize blood sugar, preventing levels from spiking after meals. Yay! Diets rich in fiber from fruits and vegetables, including zucchini, are consistently linked to the lower risk of type 2 diabetes. I love that. The fiber found in zucchini may also help increase insulin sensitivity, which can help stabilize blood sugar as well. Additionally, animal studies note that zucchini peel extract may help reduce blood sugar and insulin levels. This may be due to the skin's potent antioxidants. However, human research is still needed. I wish they would just start with humans, but they keep mentioning peel extract, and I'm very curious about that. Number five, it may improve heart health. Zucchini may also contribute to heart health, another hyperlink. Its high fiber content may be largely responsible. Observational studies show that people who eat more fiber have a lower risk of heart disease. Pectin, one type of soluble fiber found in zucchini, appears particularly effective at reducing total and bad LDL cholesterol levels. 
Yay, because I'm going to have mine tested next month. In a review of 67 studies, that's significant. Consuming as little as 2 to 10 grams of soluble fiber per day for around 1 to 2 months reduced on average total cholesterol by 1.7 milligram DL and bad LDL cholesterol by 2.2 milligram DL, which is fabulous. Zucchini is also rich in potassium, which may help reduce high blood pressure by dilating your blood vessels. Healthier blood pressure is linked to a lower risk of heart disease and stroke. Moreover, diets with rich in carotenoids, likewise found in zucchini, appear particularly protective against heart disease. It's a pretty fabulous fruit slash vegetable. <laughs> it may strengthen your vision. Uh, I always welcome that. I just don't want any more eye trouble than I have. As a child, this is a sidebar, but as a child, I wore glasses like literally starting at two years old, they started putting drops in my eyes. And by three, I had glasses and I was cross-eyed. When I'm tired, one of my eyes will still cross, but I was considered cross-eyed. I saw two of everything and I had to wear glasses until I was about 15. At 15, my parents got me contacts, which I promptly destroyed and I just couldn't keep them up. And so they were like, well, forget it. If you want to wear glasses or contacts, you're going to have to earn them. I assure you, I did not have the discipline nor the money to do that. So for about six weeks in a total panic, I just looked blindly at the world and God's grace, he corrected my eyes at 16 and a half. So for 30 something years, my eyes were fabulous. And finally at about like 48, I started having a little bit of, um, oh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, what is it called when your eyes see things blurry? Astigmatism, thank you. A little bit of astigmatism, which normally at like 42 is when people's eyes start to go, and I was 48, and then just over time that's increased a little, so I do wear glasses occasionally, but mostly my eyes are really good. I just don't want them to keep going in that direction, you know what I mean? I'd be so grateful to reverse it with this diet. I'm game for everything being reversed by choosing a raw vegan diet. I love that. Okay, so adding zucchini to your diet may aid your vision. That's for, partly because zucchini is rich in vitamin C and beta carotene, two nutrients important for eye health. Zucchini also contains the antioxidants lutein and zeaxanthin. Research shows that these antioxidants can accumulate in your retina, improving your vision and reducing your risk of age-related eye diseases. This may include a lower risk of macular degeneration, yay, which is the leading cause of irreversible vision loss in older adults. In addition, diets high in lutein and zeaxanthin may also lower your likelihood of developing cataracts. I love that. A clouding of the lens, which can lead to poor eyesight. You know, praise God, my family lives long enough to even get cataracts. But again, people who are in sunny environments with pale blue eyes have a better chance of that. But all of my people, they're well into their 80s or 90s by the time they deal with it. I can't really complain that much. Okay, number seven, may aid weight loss. Regular consumption of zucchini may help you lose weight. This fruit is rich in water and has a low calorie density, which may help you feel full. Its fiber content may also reduce hunger and keep your appetite at bay. Moreover, studies consistently link high fruit and vegetable intake to weight loss and a slower rate of weight gain over time. What's more, intake of non-starchy, dark green or yellow vegetables with similar nutrition profiles to zucchini appears particularly beneficial to weight loss. I love that. What I know for me is that I put that in my um, dressing that I made for my salad, and even though I had an intent to have a dessert, I didn't want anything after that salad. So maybe that was true too, I love it. All right, other potential benefits. Zucchini may offer some additional benefits the most well-researched include bone health, so important. Zucchini is rich in antioxidants, lutein, and zeaxanthin, as well as vitamin K and magnesium, all of which can strengthen bone health, and that's a hyperlink. Anti-cancer effects. Test tube and animal studies indicate that zucchini extracts may help kill or limit the growth of certain cancer cells. However, human research is needed. 
A healthy prostate. Animal research shows that zucchini seed extracts may help limit prostate hyperplasia, an enlargement of the prostate that commonly causes urinary and sexual difficulties in older men. And thyroid function. Testing in rats revealed that zucchini peel extracts may help keep thyroid hormone levels stable. That said, research in humans is needed. Just get to the humans, please. Just get to the humans. I'm going to keep praying for that. I'm going to start adding this to my rosary, honestly. All right, number 12. It's easy to add to your diet. Zucchini is incredibly versatile and can be eaten raw or cooked. And here are some of the ways to incorporate it into your meals. Inevitably, when I read these lists, I don't agree because it's not my food, but it may be your food. And it looks like none of this is animals per se. So number one, add it raw to salad. Yes, please. Stew it with other summer fruits and vegetables to make ratatouille. Again, a raw option. Mm -hmm. Stuff, meaning you can make that raw. Stuff with rice, lentils, or other vegetables and then bake it. Interesting. For a mild stir fry, add olive oil and saute. Boil it, then blend it in soups. Serve it as a side, grilled or sauteed with a little garlic and onion. Try it breaded or fried, as I already suggested so long ago. Spiralize it into spaghetti or linguine like noodles or slice it to replace lasagna sheets. I've done all of that and I love that. Bake it into breads, pancakes, muffins, or cakes. I totally forgot. I used to love zucchini bread. Oh my goodness. Over 30 years ago when my husband and I were first dating, we used to love vegetable soup with zucchini bread at Hoff's Hut. Do they still have Hoff's Hut? <laughs> it was amazing. Like, we remember that from time to time. That's funny. Okay. Um, anyway, all of those options can all be raw. In some cultures, the zucchini flour is considered a delicacy. You can either deep fry it or sprinkle it raw atop salad, soups, or stews. Yes, please. And as always, the bottom line. Zucchini is a versatile squash rich in vitamins, minerals, and plant compounds. It may offer several health benefits ranging from improved digestion to a lower risk of heart disease. Zucchini may aid your bones, thyroid, and prostate. If you're curious, try adding this soft, mild fruit to your diet today and get clever with it, like I said. So, okay, I will include this as part of the description of the video. If you're not a reader, just go back to the summaries and the bottom line. As always, like if you like, join us if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think of zucchini, how you use it. Do you favor green over yellow? Do you know any difference? Are you going to incorporate it now that you've learned how phenomenal it is? Like if you like, and until we talk again, know that you're blessed.